A few decades ago, growing up in Belize meant hanging from trees, rolling tires down the street, and flying kites. In the age of technology, many people believe that these days of simple pleasures are over. But that's not entirely true. While the game may not be as popular as it once was, there are still a few kids spinning marbles in the schoolyard. We spoke with community activist Shane Williams, who has made it his mission to not let the game die out in Belize. Growing up, marble was was a different world. See this little park here, Triangle Park? Whenever the triangle angles for marble drop, this transforms into a whole different world. No matter what happened outside of this park, everything focused on the competition. The game of marbles is played by drawing a shape, usually a triangle or circle, and positioning the marbles along the perimeter and inside to be knocked out of the shape. The goal is to be the player with the last marble standing, as well as collect as many of your opponent's marbles as possible. Williams told us that the number one rule of the game is to not purchase marbles. According to him, they had to be earned by winning games. A student at Grace Primary School explained this process to us. You, draw, you got the line, you got triangle line, you got back of the goats. Everybody was spin for back of goats. How, how you play that? You shoot for back of the goats, I was saying. The, the angle there. You play for the angle. You want to play for the angle. All, all the marble in the angle. Shane Williams showed us some of the different kinds of marbles children can win during games. They have nearly one yen in there, the common one. You know. They marble here that really cheap. You want with your playing in here, using in here as beat, you're sitting in there in the angles and stuff. And then you have the Miami. Where we call it Miami, because in here state sting when we grew up. So you have nearly fancy one. You have our big dubs. I don't know if you can see the big dubs here. You have our big dubs and then you have some quayan. Quayan are like bearings from vehicle and stuff. If you're lucky enough, you could get a nice quayan and then they make the best star. That way you use to knock out the marble or kill your other opponents and stuff like that. So, they, and you have smiley. I don't have no smiley, but people like smiley because it's hard to hit. They have smiley marble. So, when you use that as your tie, it's hard for somebody to catch you and out you. He said that among communities, there is typically one player known for being the best in the group. While we visited Grace Primary School, a few boys battled to prove who deserved that title among them. We asked a few of them what it is they loved about the game. It have to be a team. It have to be a team. You could go against your friends, your cousin, your family, but that's not the point. Marble is also a game where you feel like you better than anybody, or you can fight with anybody. Marble is also a friendly game. One student told us that while he used to live abroad, he would purchase marbles, but since coming to Belize, he enjoys trading them with his friends. Other countries like that, like Spain, like that, they are like. Other kind of marble I buy, I bond in. I buy a lot of marble for right there, right? Then, then I call it Belize, right? Then I am like play like my friends out there, like they like, care everything. Then I win like special marble like that. Two students explained that it is the joy of playing with friends that draws them to the game. Only reason I start playing marble because my older brother Alvin, right? He used to play marble, and then he brought me into this game. He used to collect marble, he have arm, but will be all on end there. Yeah, only reason why I start playing marble. What's the most fun part of this game? Like that friendly game, right? And you have your friends there, eh? you can win anybody you are. Long as know how to play. The reason why I like marble because eh, because, eh, because, by, eh, because by my village, I have a lot of friends there. Eh? And we used to call a lot of marbles. So, we, so I tell my mom, please give me money for go buy marbles. And we buy big doves and anything. <coughs> so, we, we make a little triangle and we start to play. To keep the game alive, Williams hosts an annual marble contest in Belize. He saw a need for a community event that would bring children together after the COVID pandemic. And recalling how much he enjoyed spinning marbles with his friends growing up, he thought it would be the perfect game. I started the marble contest with community kids and then some from far around start coming. And it's been three years now. I want to introduce it into the summer camp that I usually have this year. And just hopefully that people start playing in the schools, you know, and get some at just Ali. Onsa experience we had as, a, as, as children, I just wanted to get that onsa that so that they could 
socialize, meet people from different neighborhoods and stuff like that. That's that the main thing, just the socialization. Even though the game is no longer at the height of its popularity, it is evidently still alive in Belize and will continue to have a place among children as long as there is someone to teach them. Marble allowed us to, to meet new friends, lifelong friends, and build our stories that we are never forget. Brittany Gordon for News 5.